It's understandable that soil gets waterlogged in low-lying areas. But these days we're getting problems elsewhere, particularly in heavy clay soil and after flooding rains. Waterlogging occurs when water can't drain down through our soil. Puddles form and pathogens can thrive in the low oxygen environment. If conditions don't quickly improve, we can lose our entire crop. Usually, we respond by hilling up the soil or growing vegetables and other crops in raised beds and containers. We spread compost and mulch to increase the organic matter in our soil. And in more challenging situations, dig drains and construct earthworks to hold back or divert water elsewhere. But as extreme rainfall events now show us, these standard solutions are often not enough. How can we quickly reduce water logging when the rain stops and flood waters recede? By using a remarkably affordable ecological approach that improves water infiltration into and drainage down through our soil and the removal of water by plants. How do we use this ecological approach? By firstly reducing soil compaction by vehicles, hooves and human feet. Secondly, by making it easier for water to soak into our soil by protecting the surface with a cover of living plants. Thirdly, and most importantly, Instead of working our soil, we give our soil organisms the resources to improve the soil infrastructure and therefore the movement of water down through the soil. How is this done? Simply by growing more plants to give our soil organisms a better diet of root tissues, root exudates, leaves and other plant and animal waste materials from our gardens and farms. These plants will also pump more water out of the ground by absorbing water into their roots and then transporting it to tiny pores on the underside of their leaves. The water is taken out of our soil and released into the atmosphere as water vapour. You now know how to improve drainage in your soil and in the process rebuild your topsoil. How will you use this ecological approach in your garden and farm?